Hello, and I'm glad all of you are able to tune in with me this um, afternoon or morning, depending on where you're at. Uh, I have alongside with me Jan. Jan from New York City saves money. Hello, Jan. Hi, uh, Steve. How are you? Hi, everybody. I'm good. I'm good. Well, we're we're actually here, but mostly her. She wants to talk to you about ways to spend a $50 bill wisely. So Janet, I will go ahead and turn it over to you and you can go ahead uh, and talk to the audience. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Steve. Hi, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well as always. You know that. You know, we have been, Steve and everyone, so bombarded with huge numbers all over the place. We're so used to hearing these big numbers. There was a huge lottery winner recently here in my area. And we just hear these big numbers that we kind of lose in the translation how much something really is of value. And I especially mention this every once in a while because, as you know, Steve, and anyone that follows me on my channel, the basis of my channel is to encourage saving. But sometimes we get discouraged, Steve, about saving when we think it's not enough. Oh, I only saved $10 this week. Oh, I only saved five dollars this week to me and steve you may tend to agree with me on this every single save is a win and you know what we're going to talk about the many many things we could do to stretch or to show you into perspective what exactly fifty dollars can do so what i did steve i came up with a list of interesting things that we can do with fifty dollars to put it into better perspective that you could do a lot with $50, more than you realize. For example, Steve, let's put it this way. You know those actual 99 cent stores that actually you could spend 99 cents per item? Okay, mm -hmm. you could get obviously 50 items at that dollar store for $50. Or, and here in New York City, you could get 17 rides on a New York City bus or subway. Now let me explain about that. A New York City subway the track mileage is, I think, like 250 miles. So can you imagine 17 rides at 250 miles? That's a lot of miles. Just saying, just saying. Next, you could get five $10 movie tickets if you like the movies for $50. Next, you could get, if popcorn is your thing, Steve, do you like popcorn? Oh, sure. Sure. Well, yeah. you know, the ready-made bags, not the kernels that you have to pop in the microwave, although they're pretty pretty delicious, too. Mm -hmm. But you could get $51 prepared snack bags, 50 bags of popcorn for $50. Okay. And by the way, here's another step further. If you get the microwavable type, for example, or the corn kernels themselves, think of how many popcorn kernels popping that you could do for $50 like that. It's incredible. Next. You could get 25 boxes of cake mix. Now, listen carefully to this. If 25 boxes of cake mix happen to be on sale for $2 a box of cake mix, each box of cake mix yields 24 cupcakes. Multiply 25 boxes times 24 cupcakes, you will get 600 cupcakes for $50. That's a lot of cupcakes. If now, you're going to a party right <laughs> or something it would work yeah that's a yes lot. uh next you could get if you if apples are two for a dollar like like a better grade of apples two for a dollar you could get um 100 apples wow unless my math is off let me get this right am i right on that i think i'm right on that <laughs> what is it now? let me i can it's about right next you could get 50 dollars worth let's do the math on this $50 worth of ramen noodles. Now, some places get better prices than others, but in general, ramen noodles are cheap. I'm not saying to do this, but they are cheap. Let's suppose that $50 of ramen noodles are three for $1. Uh, hello, that's 150 packs of ramen noodles. You could be in ramen noodles for a couple of years, okay? Just saying, just saying. 
recently somebody gifted me with a box of tea from the Dollar Tree store. Just regular tea. I'm the type, I love regular tea. Once in a while, I like the flavored. Do I like the flavored over regular tea? Honestly, no. I like regular tea. And it was quite good. It tasted just like the expensive one, the $4, $5 a box one. Guess what, Steve? That was $1 delicious, 100 count tea bags for one dollar we've seen those tea bags i know the exact ones you're talking about yeah so let's do the math on this fifty dollars worth of 100 count tea bags at a dollar am i correct would that be five thousand tea bags yeah you'll be drinking tea for quite a long time. the rest of my life <laughs> well yeah pretty much and now let's go on to chunk light tuna. Now, some people get better prices than others on chunk light tuna. But I'm going to pretend that I spent a, a $2 on chunk light tuna. Okay? I could get at least 25 cans of chunk light tuna. Okay? And finally, for number 10, if you could get a $2 jar of spaghetti sauce, you could get 25 jars of spaghetti sauce or pizza sauce that could be great for tons and tons of recipes now the question bag steve i'm going to ask your audience your viewers what can you do with 50 bucks let us know in the comment section below i'm interested steve you have any thoughts on this yourself well i mean let's see in but you know again you know that that again coming back to what you said me me i can get uh well again prices vary from one place to another but i usually get like oh no <laughs> don't tell me about steve steve's <laughs> it's okay we're still going to go on with this not a big deal it's a very minor glitch um I get it for about 68 cent a can. So even at 274, think about how many cans of tuna I can get for $50. Exactly. Um, Do you agree? Oh, go ahead, Steve. I'm sorry. The only, the only other thing I was going to include, even though it's a beverage, I know not everybody drinks coffee, but you, from time to time, you can also pick up good sales on, on coffee. Yes. Um, I just recently, matter of fact, yesterday I went and bought two jars of Nescafe Classico, 10.5 ounce for six ninety eight. That's roughly three fifty a jar. Wow. But I don't know if I would want fifty dollars worth of coffee though. I mean now I this is the instant coffee you're referring to, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And but how I, many cups does that yield per jar? Tons of cups. Um, I believe the jar said hundred and five cups. Wow. You I know mean, what it is. Go ahead, Steve. I mean, that's better than what you would get going to a Dunkin' Donuts. And I mentioned this on a past show where you pay two fifty seven for one cup. Right. And this is why I'm bringing up the point. I get a lot of people uh, in one of my most recent uploads. So, uh, somebody said, well, what's ten dollars a month? I had emphasized. Uh, I don't care if you spent if you save ten dollars a month. And somebody asked me like off the video once before, well, what does $10 a month get you? I said $120 a year that you didn't have the year before. Because if you like look at everything, it just annoys me, this mannerism of thinking that nothing counts. Every little bit that you save counts. Remember our dollar a day thing, Steve? Yeah, I do that. So, I mean... <laughs> One day, it was actually New Year's Day. I forget which year it was. Steve and I were talking, wishing each other a happy new year. I think it was maybe three years back. And you may remember this conversation, Steve. We were on video chat, and we were, like, talking about if we could save just $2 a day every single day for the next 365 days, we're talking over, what, $730? 720 I believe. 720 I thought it was 7.30, but that's fine. Wait a minute. Let me see. You said $2 a day. 365 times two. 
But whatever that number is, we're talking over 700 bucks for just $2 a day making one modification. Examine the things you do. Examine it. See how everything adds up. But don't trivialize. Don't trivialize your small savings. Think, eh, listen, how about Q from the channel? Q makes it happen. Q sure did make it happen. Yes, he did. Saying, right? Hey, if you have never heard of the Q makes it happen channel, Steve and I strongly, strongly oh, yeah. encourage you to go there. Mm -hmm. He picked up bottles. He picked up cans. He wanted to pay off his student debt. And he did it. Right. He never said, oh, it's only 50 cents. Oh, no, 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 no. So please don't trivialize your efforts and keep going. That's the bottom line of this video. You know, and I will throw in, and I'm going to, more than a two, than my two cents, I'm going to throw in a, a good nickel. That man, that young man at the age bracket that he is, of course, chronologically, mentally older, because when I watch his videos, I'm not staring at a, a man in his 30s. I see a man my age bracket mentally. Absolutely. And anybody that can knock out that amount of student loan debt at that age and become debt free and do what he's doing with, you know, putting money away, you know, my hat, my, my hat's off to him because that not because many people of his age bracket, they're too busy having fun. Oh, but it's just money. Eh, it's not a big deal. Uh, yeah. Wrong. 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 You know <laughs> this. I wish I could go back to his age bracket and do what he's doing. I'll tell you why. Ten years of not saving can cost you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Absolutely. Just in ten years. You would you would think, oh, but ten years is nothing. No, not really. Not when you go back and do the research and, and, and figure everything up. No, no. Uh, I mean, no, it's never too late to start. But the earlier you can start, the better off you are. That's sure, you have that advantage. But don't trivialize. If, if Q, for example, trivialized it, he would not have gotten out of student debt. I mean, he's, he's a hustler. He will work. No job is too small. And he has. And I'm so beyond proud of, of the character you know, of, of Q makes it happen. I no. just am just so beyond proud. And I'm proud of all of our viewers, too, that care enough to watch our channels because they want that encouragement. You guys want that encouragement. And we're here to give you that encouragement. So the next time anyone says to you, eh, you only saved $50, uh, really? Pat yourself on the back and remember all the wonderful things. This was just a teensy example. Show me what you can do with $50. Show Steve what you can do with $50 in the comments section below. Steve, and thanks I, for having me here. I appreciate you. You're welcome. And I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to close with this right here. Yes. But anybody can say, oh, but I have $50. I know how to grocery shop. I can go to the store. I can buy things. Yeah. Okay, that's all good and well. Anybody can go to a grocery store, push a shopping cart, and put things in the cart. We all can do that. Yeah. Not what you, it's not being able to do that, but it's what you put in the cart. It's knowing to go into the store and knowing what departments to go in and knowing what to buy. Absolutely. And I also recommend if you have a $50 bill, there it, and everybody has a cell phone, cell phones have a calculator built into it. That's keep, right. Keep a running track of what you spend. That's right. And when you get around the $46, $48 mark, you stop. I'm a natural bean counter. I have told my followers, my viewers all the time, in case there's a unique viewer that hasn't seen my show, my channel, I tell my folks all the time I'm a bean counter. No, not a pinto bean counter, but I like to count things. I like, I must know what's my inventory in my freezer. I must know what's in my refrigerator, in my cabinet, in my pantry. And I have started finally to seriously start to stockpile, stockpile for one. And that's what we talk about. So understand the value of everything that you well say. again i i know i've mentioned their channel many times over and you know their kindness you. and i appreciate it well not only your channel but i also want to come back to the long run with joel and christy oh i love watching. them i was yeah me too i was watching one of their videos it's one the one that we did together and i do like what joel said and i am in full agreement with him 
you do have before you go shopping before you walk out the door get in your car to go to the store always go and look over your inventory your refrigerator your cupboard look over everything you have because you definitely don't want to go out and buy and duplicate something that you may have two or three of right and then you have an overabundance of it so definitely look over what you do have what you don't have that's what you go out and get right absolutely and you know what you're tying up money that could go on something let's suppose you're over you know you duplicate shop you're tying up funds that could have gone to something else that you really need or you're tying up funds that could have gone left over into savings or paying down a debt so be very careful yes absolutely all right well um i'm glad we got together again and well, you thanks for here. having me here because i i really want to emphasize that anyone can save i really yeah. do well, i'm glad you were here thank and, you yeah and i'm glad that you you know you spoke about the 50. and like i said that's just that's just a few ways i'm sure there's 10 20 30 other ways thousands of ways and your audience i'm sure is going to let you know in the comment section below oh absolutely please by all means and i can't emphasize this enough please let me know down in the comments i would love to hear some of your feedback on this storyline um like i said i just want to mention i did go back three or four days ago and i made adjustments in my settings for comments so everything will come through no problem there shouldn't be any issues i did have one issue with a subscriber i don't know if they're still an ex subscriber or not but that issue has been fixed so there's not going to be any issues i had a small issue janet getting your messages but that's been fixed now i see everything you right because i always know before i jump to conclusions i always know that it could be a YouTube glitch, and that's what I'm encouraging. Like I said on a previous video about this, I'm always going to encourage before we right away think, oh, the content creator, there are many things that are out of our hands. That's a technical glitch on YouTube or any other platform. Yeah, something we can't, we have no control. Out of our hands. Yeah. All right. Well, I want to thank everyone for tuning in, watching this. Um, I slash we will see you next time. And uh, I hope everybody has uh, a wonderful remainder of their day. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.